Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sudi. Uh, today I'm doing a crock pot hot cocoa. It is a rainy day. It's been raining all day since early this morning. It was super dark clouds last night. My kids are at school right now and I wanted to have something ready for them um, when they get home, something to warm them up. It's spring now, but we're still feeling some cooler weather. And so I thought, hey, I still can do this. So I've made this a few times for my kids. I thought I'd share you guys, share with you guys how I do it. So I found a recipe online. Let me just move this back. I found a recipe online a while ago, but I've adjusted it. I've adjusted it a bit. It is, I'm gonna show you my phone's a bit cracked, so don't uh hope you can see it. It's on delish. It's I put uh slow cooker hot cocoa. Now when I very when I first made this uh recipe. I didn't have chocolate chips, I didn't have heavy cream or nothing like that. So I didn't even have um, milk. So I've adjusted this recipe to fit what I needed and it was perfect and easy. So basically what I did, I did not add chocolate chips. I did do the cocoa powder, the sugar, sorry if there's a glare. I did the vanilla, I did not do heavy cream and I didn't do whole milk. So I did, for the whole milk, I did milk powder because I have a ton of milk powder and I wanted to use it up. So I used it for that. I did, um, and that's pretty much it. And it was super rich. So I did milk powder for the milk. I did the vanilla sugar and cocoa powder. And that was it. And of course, I had some marshmallows for my kids to top their hot cocoa with. So I'm using this milk powder. I just have some, you can use whatever milk powder you want. If you have regular milk, you can go go right on and use the regular milk. But since I have so much of this, I wanted, I've been wanting to use it. So that's what I'm doing. So I usually fill this up with water. So I'm gonna use like the filtered water from my water machine. Fill this up with water, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my milk powder. So for this milk powder, I'm using about two cups, two, two to two and a half cups of milk powder. Let me see if I can get my measuring cup. Okay, so for some reason I think my larger uh, measuring cups are in the dishwasher. So I'm going to take some of this milk powder. I'm going to do two cups. So here's a half. That's one cup. Two cups. And then I'm going to do two um, one-third cups. So about two and two-thirds. And this is like a five-quart slow cooker. I'm going to do half a cup of sugar. So let me get my milk powder out of the way. And that container, this container, if you're interested where I got that, I'm not sure if you are, but if you are, I got that at the Dollar Tree. Um, half a cup of sugar. So you could adjust the sugar to your like, you know, how you like it or whatever. I'm just going with a half a cup. That's what the original recipe said. And I think that was sweet enough. But if it's too sweet or not sweet, you can take out or add what you want. Okay, I'm gonna just do that, half a cup. And then for the cocoa powder, I'm just using this one, but you can use any brand. You can use store brand, doesn't matter. Just using pure cocoa powder. I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. And that's basically it. I'm gonna add, the, add some vanilla, actually. I almost forgot about that, but if you don't have it, you can leave it out if you don't have it. I just have some homemade vanilla that I ended up making in my Instant Pot like a while ago. And this is like my last, I made, whew, I made a, about four. I'm just gonna do a few teaspoons like that. I made a few jars of this. I have to definitely do some more soon. Um, and then I'm gonna add all the water. Okay, you guys, so in my slow cooker, I have those few ingredients. Now I have my water. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. Well, just a little bit to start so I can kind of mix all this dry stuff together because it does get really powdery if you put, and it, it's hard to break it down, the powder, if you just put all the water in at once. So I'm just going to go ahead and just stir this in and I've got mine set on high because the water that I'm using is really cold once it gets like really warm and hot I'll set it to warm until my kids get home but I'll probably have it on high for the next couple hours like two hours or so 
And then once my kids get home, I'll have it. It'll be nice and hot for them to enjoy. So I am going to pour the rest of this water in here. This is one of the easiest hot cocoa recipes. And usually like when I make hot cocoa for my kids, I, I was doing it one cup at a time. I'm like, I can't keep doing this. So I decided to start making it in the crock pot. They can serve themselves. And it was so much better. And you could, whatever's left, you could put it in the fridge. And then they could warm it up in the microwave the next day if they wanted more or whatever. So this is pretty much it. I'm going to let this go. Also, if you love hot cocoa, I found this out too. On rainy days, In-N-Out Burger gives free hot, a cup of free hot cocoa to your kids 12 and under. You do have to bring your kid. Um, it's, it's all the states. You know, every state does it. I confirmed it. Uh, I called In-N-Out Burger to check. But that, the rainy day made me want hot cocoa. I don't want to drive in and out for about 15 minutes from me. But if you're close to one and you don't want to make hot cocoa, but your kid's feeling like hot cocoa and it's a rainy day, run over to in and out and get them a free one. All right, you guys, we'll be back when this is nice and ready. And make sure you put your lid on, guys. So this is my daughter serving herself up some hot cocoa. She's just using this cute little teacup. I found these at the Goodwill. They are so stinking adorable, you guys. Uh, we do not have any marshmallows right now. So we're just eating it like, uh, drinking it like this. It is so rich and creamy. I did end up having to add a little bit more sugar to it. But definitely give that recipe a try. I'm going to leave it in the link. You can adjust it if you want. But that's the recipe I use and I adjusted it accordingly. Um, give it a try, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys later. Bye.